everyone. It's October. We've got double the hardy, double the chastain. I'm your host, Tara Perry, and you're watching The Maven. Hello there. Double the Tara. Hello, me. Don't touch me. If you touch me, we would cancel each other out and we could rip a hole in the fabric of space and time. What? Hanka? Now you've done it. Coming out October 2nd, we're doubling up on Matt Damon and space movies with The Martian. On a space mission, Mark Watney, played by Matt Damon, is left behind on Mars and is forced to fend for himself. Sounds like the plot to Home Alone. With only limited supplies, he's got to do what it takes to survive. Sounds like the plot of Castaway. Meanwhile, astronauts on Earth plan a daring rescue mission. Now it sounds like Interstellar, which also had Matt Damon and Jessica Chastain. Where's Matthew McConaughey? I bet he's all right. How many times does he do it? I just wanted them to do it. <laughs> this will come as quite a shock to my crewmates. And to NASA. And to the entire world. But I'm still alive. Surprise. Also on October 2nd, Double the Hardy in Legend. Legend is the story of identical twins Reggie and Ronnie Cray, both played by Tom Hardy, who were two of England's most notorious mobsters in London in the 1960s. I wish I had a badass twin. Somebody call for a badass twin? You know, I put a spoon back in the drawer when I finished using it. I drink regular soda. I'm not wearing a seatbelt. It's actually pretty dangerous. Sometimes if I'm holding scissors, I'll run. Crime is a business. You don't want a war. I do, actually. Listen to yourself, you nuts! Ah! October 16th, Crimson Peak. In 19th century England, young author Edith Cushing, played by Mia Walshikawa, falls in love and marries Sir Thomas Sharp, played by Loki. She discovers that her new charming husband is not who he appears to be. His home harbors ghostly, mysterious entities, which he and his sister, Lady Lucille Sharp, played by Jessica Chastain, desperately and fiercely try to hide. Sure, the title seems silly because it sounds like the sequel to Crimson Tide, but Guillermo del Toro wrote it and directed it. So it's gonna be good. This is your home now. Competing with Crimson Peak on the 16th, the Diabolical. When a single mother, Allie Larder, and her two young children are tormented by a creepy presence in their quiet new home, she turns to her scientist and boyfriend to take on the violent forces that the paranormal experts are too frightened to face. Why are ghosts always malevolent? What am I saying? Malevolent. Malevolent. Why are ghosts always malevolent? Malevolent. Malevolent. What am I saying? Malevolent. 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 Why are ghosts always malevolent? <laughs> How? What's happening to me? I won't kill them. You know what I think it is? I think it's that ghosts always just get a negative portrayal in the media. I love my ghost. We hang out, we have fun. October 23rd, The Last Witch Hunter. Colder, played by Vin Diesel, managed to kill the Queen Witch, but before her death, she cursed the Vinster with her own immortality, separating him from his wife and his daughter in the afterlife. Her resurrection now threatens the survival of the human race as Calder, the only one of his kind remaining, faces her vengeful wrath. You know what I'm afraid of? Nothing. You're afraid of nothing? You're not afraid of standing in front of a crowd and talking. You're not afraid of having something stuck in your teeth and talking to a pretty girl. You know what I bet you're afraid of? Malevolent ghosts. Malevolent. 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 Also coming out this month, Jim and the Holograms. My top pick of the month is Crimson Peak. 
Thanks for watching The Maven. I'm your host, Tara Perry. Come on, evil twin. Come on, ghosty. It's Netflix night.